Farhan says, does Islam allow photography or does it come under image making? It is an issue of dispute. In the past, scholars used to consider any type of a photograph to be image making and they considered it to be one of the major sins in Islam. The reason is that the Prophet ﷺ said that the most severely tormented people on the Day of Judgment are Al-Musawwirun. So Al-Musawwir is the one who makes an image, who draws, who sculptures an image of a living human being. And this word Al-Musawwir is also one of Allah's beautiful names, which refers to Allah's creating and giving the image to His creation. So, all along, all along, from the time of the Prophet ﷺ to our times, until recently, people did not have cameras. So, Al-Musawwir, to them, linguistically referred to anyone who draws or sculptures. Now, 150 years ago or so, when cameras were introduced, the man who took the photograph, the person who snapped these pictures was called linguistically Musawwar. So the scholars considered it because this was an act of taking images similar to drawing the picture of a human being or making a sculpture of or a statue of, or, of a human being. So they said, okay, one plus one equals two. And they say they share the same ruling. Now, this might not be the right approach because the Prophet ﷺ prohibited men to wear gold. And everyone knows that gold is the yellow metal, which is expensive and well known to everyone. Few hundred years ago, they discovered oil and they nicknamed it as black gold. So does any of us have the audacity to come and say using oil is haram because it is called black gold? Definitely not. Likewise, synthetic silk. Silk is prohibited for men, which is natural. But synthetic silk, though it is called silk, it is not real silk. So wearing it and using it by men is totally legit. Coming back to taking photographs. In later years, scholars started to understand that photography is not like drawing. If I take a pen and I start to draw a portrait of a human being, this human being looks like Brother Ahmed. But is he Ahmed? The answer is no. This is my drawing. This is my creation. And this is what I will be tormented in hellfire by due to this sin as told by the Prophet in the Hadith والسلام, that whatever you produce, you make, whatever you create, it will be the thing that you will be punished and tormented on the Day of Judgment by. But when we look at a photograph, if someone takes a photo of me, is this me or it's someone else? Is this photograph a picture of Allah's creation or an imitation of it? No one would say that it's an imitation. This is Allah's creation. My reflection on a mirror or over a pond of water. This is Allah's creation. It's just a reflection of the light. So a photograph captures the light and it reflects it on a piece of paper or when it's digital, you'll find it on your screen. There is 
nothing that a man has done to intervene in creating such a reflection. This is Allah's creation. And this is why if someone brings me a contract and I sign it, and they make a Xerox copy, and they bring me the Xerox copy, or the photocopy, and they say, is this your signature? No one would say, no, it's not mine. This is an imitation, or this is a copy. You would say, yes, this is my signature, and this photograph is Allah's creation. This is whom Allah created. We simply captured it on a picture. And this is the most authentic opinion. Now, having said that, scholars say that it is prohibited to take and keep pictures of females, women, and of deceased. Women would object and say, why are you being chauvinist? Why are you being uh, uh, against women? It's, it has nothing to do with being against women. On the contrary, Islamically, women are ordered to wear the hijab. Why does Islam order them to wear the hijab? So that they can be protected, so that their identity would not be revealed, so that non-mahram men would not see them. By having their pictures, whether on their mobiles or on their cameras or on their memory uh, stick or card or on social media, this totally defies the purpose of hijab. And this is why women are not allowed to snap pictures except when it is necessar necessary. As in the case of your passports, your ID card, when it is truly needed. But just for the fun of it, this is not permissible. As for the deceased, because this is how shirk began at the time of the people of Nuh, peace be upon him, by making idols, by praising the dead, by looking at them and speaking to them and thinking afterwards that they can impact their lives by asking them and supplicating to them. And we see in dramas and, and movies when a widow is overwhelmed by calamities and she goes to a portrait of her deceased husband and she says, Ya Ahmed, O oh, Ya Ali, O oh, Ya Abdullah, don't you see what's happening to us? Don't you see this problem, these problems that you've left us uh, uh, to face alone? And all of this is means of going astray and maybe shirk, you never know. Having said that, taking photographs of a person and then photoshopping it, to do Photoshop on it, changing the features, removing the uh, pimples or the wrinkles or dyeing the hair, uh, etc. All of this is totally prohibited because this is going into image making and editing Allah's creation. And this is why we say that, uh, uh, I think it's called the face app, where you, it shows you how uh, down the line you would look adding few years on you. I don't know how would I look, but definitely this is where we, you go. But such a thing, such a prediction, and altering and changing the creation of Allah is not permissible, and Allah knows best.